we found with the model that we're using, which is an animal model of obesity, um, where we find that you feed them a high calorie diet, these mice, some of them will actually put on weight and some of them will actually maintain their leanness to the same level as say a low, low fat, low calorie diet fed mouse. Now the interesting thing about these mice is that they actually share the same genes. So they're, they're what is known as a homogeneous or isogenic um, mouse strain. So it's actually the way that the environment, so in this case the different types of foods that they, the animals consume, they're actually impacting on the genes to make them differentially express and function in a different way. So it's really a combination, the interaction between genes and the environment. So there will be some who have resistant genes and that is the purpose of, of the grant, is to try and sort of identify exactly which genes may be at play and exactly how these diets will then make these genes function in different ways. Our research is really trying to understand the biology and the genetics and if we don't grasp a really good handle of it, so it's basically going back to grassroots um, science, if we don't understand the biology then we're not going to have a chance to develop those therapeutic targets. So an actual pill may be a few years off, but the research will definitely help to identify which of the, particularly my project, whether the gut is a really good target to, uh, for further development of um, potential drugs.